Hello guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, tap some trees to make some maple syrup. Sorry if I bother you guys with my face, I was in a sledding incident. We were just looking for the trap that I hit a tree. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we have to gather up all of our supplies. So we're just using buckets and tubing. We pulled out the tubing from last year. It's already been cleaned. Um, we got the drill and a hammer. So we're going to go over to the maple trees and tap. Hey, you want to go bring that over? Yeah. So, pretty sure we might be going over down here. Because we tapped down here somewhere. Alright guys, sorry about that. Apparently when I was moving the camera, I somehow put it on pause and it stopped recording. Um, so we didn't get any of the footage that we just shot. So I'm going to take you through and walk you through uh, what we actually just did as far as tapping the trees. Alright, so the first tree we tapped is this one here. Um, what we looked at is, this is the tap hole from last year. So we wanted to be at least six inches away from that. So we put it there. And the other thing with this is it's also on the south side of the tree, so it'll be warmer. And it'll probably, it normally will produce better sap. We got our line coming straight into the bucket. And you notice there's not too many kinks in the, in the line. And then we tapped the other tree up here. Then we put the tap right there. We put the tap directly under a leader or a branch because it's going to feed, the tree's going to want to feed that branch with sap. So we're going to go ahead and recover that and again straight into the bucket. So there's two of the, the buckets we got. Odie, you want to take them to the third one? Sure, okay. you mean our second one? That was the first no, that's one and two. All right, before we go there, this tree here, we tried to show you this earlier. This is a tree we tapped last year. Um, you can see the tap toll right here. Uh, we didn't get a lot out of this tree. We didn't know why. But if you come around to this side of the tree, which I didn't notice last year, it's got a lot of damage to it. So it's probably why it didn't produce too much. All right, Eddie, now you can take them to the third tree we tapped. I don't think I have to go picture of this one. It's okay. I need to take a picture of it. So, this is the third tree that we did. Alright, so that's the third tree that we did. Now this one here, we're not 100% sure if it was a maple. I'm pretty confident it is. So I went ahead and tapped it. See if we get anything out of it. Yeah, it does have the right colored wood. Yep, it looks similar to the other trees, the young maples. This is the fourth one that I already took a picture of. This is the fourth one. Again, we have the tap pole here from last year. So we just moved the tap to the side of the tree this year and put the bucket there. Now that one's going to be a lot of because it's on the plastic side of it. And then the next tree we, we chose to do was the tree that produced the most for us last year. And that's our Norway maple. It's the one that's closer to the house. So we'll go take a look at that here in just a minute. Wow. Looks like all the chickens are inside. <laughs> oh, they're all up in the roost. There they are. Dark out, so they all While we're here, guys, let's do one last check for eggs. I checked a little while ago, well, not a little while ago, but this morning. Let's see if we got any more. Oh, look at that. We got two more eggs. You did? Yep, two eggs right there. Posting them on things. Cody's using the, uh, the old camera to just take pictures of things. Things that 
we haven't really been posting on our social media. Alright, so here's the uh, the Norway Maple. We only put one line right now. I am going to tap this with a second line. I just got to get a bucket for it. Ran out of buckets. And then the last one we do is over here. Right there, Odie oh, was the one that actually got a chance to tap this one all by herself. She even had the safety glasses on. You'll see that in part of the video when we close out. We did get a little bit of the close out video, but not too much. Hey, you ready? You want to do the last close out? Sure. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that bell. Alright guys, again, thank you for coming along and we'll go to the one where she's wearing glasses here in a minute. But make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And for those of you that are wondering, because I know you can see it really good, Odie uh, has a big black and blue on her face. Unfortunately, we had an accident this weekend. Um, the two of us decided we were going to go sledding. and During the dark. It, it was dark out, and we ended up hitting trees. So, of course, we neither ever, I, oh, anyway, we would have hit trees anyway, so, because we were sledding where there's tons of trees. Yeah, when we're sledding, there's, there, there are trees. Usually, actually, it's the same same area that we sled last time. I'll put a link to that video up here. Um, but anyway, it's... What are you doing? I'm not picking anything. Just this time, it um, we ended up running into a tree because the snow had a layer of ice, so we were going faster and a lot further. So, unfortunately, that's what happened with Odie. Okay, you ready? All right, guys, thanks for coming along with, with us on this uh, expedition of uh, tapping our trees. Again, we've done another, we've done another video of this, it. So. This is actually the exact same day that we tapped trees last year, February 19th. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link up to that video uh, up in the corner here. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to look for an egg that my dad just lost during another video. So I'm pretty sure he's going to put the link up to that. Alright. And it cracked. It's Is it cracked? Yep. We're going to take a picture of it real quick with this old cam. Yep. Oh, well, that was easy. We found it pretty quick. This is a good so, camera. So, what do you think we ought to do with that egg now? Give it to the chicken. What should we do with it first? We're going to mash it up, give it, um, wash it, um, make sure it dries, and then we're going to give it to the chickens. How about we just scramble it and then give it to the chickens? Cook it up and give it to them. We can do that on camera. <laughs> we're just going to log the video instead of like 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, bye. This is the old camera to let you guys know. This is the old camera.